Hi, this is James from tracymat.co.uk and I'm back again with the uh, HTC 7 Mozart uh, just to give you a slightly more in-depth um, uh, look into its, uh, into its features. So we'll start with uh, the People tab which is uh, at the top there and you can see it's animated, the, uh, the, the pictures are changing. If we jump into there, <clears throat> basically what the, uh, what the Windows phone has done is once I've put in my Facebook details and my Windows Live uh, details, it's, it's uh, it's imported all my uh, my contacts from those sources. So I've obviously got me at the top here. Um, by clicking on there, I can see my status updates from uh, from both Facebook uh, and from from Windows Live. And then underneath, we've got all of our contacts. Um, so if we were to click on one, let's find a suitable one. Who should we have? Mm -hmm. Let's have him. Okay, so we've obviously got uh, the photo at the top. We can then instantly write on their Facebook wall, and this is done through contacts. It's, it's not actually opening a, uh, a Facebook app. Uh, if they input their address or website, you'll see that too. Basically, any information they 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 put on uh, on Facebook or uh, Windows Live will be imported. Clicking across to what's new, um, this will again show us all the updates from Facebook uh, and Windows Live. And this uh, also a recent one. Oh look, there's Matt. So that's people and that's uh, pretty cool if you ask me. Um, there's a Hotmail icon there and because I put my Windows Live um, Addressing it's it's automatically uh, uh, set up my Hotmail. Um, it's fairly straightforward. You obviously see the email and uh, you can reply or, or, or forward like so. Moving down a little bit, we've got Xbox Live. And you can see there's some games here, and they all say, uh, or these ones at least say, say try now. So I've downloaded a couple. Um, there's an avatar there, which it won't actually let me amend at the moment, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, let's just have a look at a quick game that I downloaded. It's uh, obviously only a, a demo or a, a trial, so to speak. God, I've no idea how to play this. Mm. <laughs> okay, maybe I should have chosen one that I knew how to play, but you get the idea. They look pretty good, the games. Uh, Internet Explorer, we covered that on the unboxing video. Calendar, obviously, sorry, on the um, home screen, it's, it's giving you some, some information. It's actually showing you your, uh, your next appointment, which is good. So jumping into the calendar, Fairly straightforward, we've got a day view, we've got an agenda view. Down at the bottom here, if you press that tab, we've also got a month view. So it's a case of uh, selecting the time, input the information, and I can't spell, but we'll save that anyway. And there we go, it's in there. Pictures, this is pretty nice. Um, like the contacts, the Windows uh, Phone 7 has, 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 has import all my Facebook photos. Um, so first off here in the What's New, this is basically going to show you any photos that have been uploaded um, by your friends on Facebook. And obviously you can click on those. And here's all my, my Facebook um, albums. We can either view them by all, by date, or by favourites. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's just a case of uh, selecting the folder that you want. Click on the photos. You can either comment on this straight away. We rotate that a bit. Okay, there we go. Pinch the zoom works. 
then you can just uh, scroll through them like so. And it works very well. Nice. So that's pictures, music and video. This is where the, uh, the Zoom um, software comes in. Luckily I already had the Zoom software on my PC because I have got a Zoom HD. So I plugged in the uh, the Mozart, the PC recognized it as Windows Phone 7. And it's just a case of dropping and dragging uh, stuff from the computer um, onto the phone. So we look at music. I've only put one album on there at the moment. Um, but you, you know, you get the album artwork. You can scroll through the, the, the different tracks on the device. There's also some uh, tabs at the bottom that you can you can use to do that. Uh, as well as the album artwork, you'll see the the whole screen is actually a, uh, it is from the album artwork, although it's obviously not the cover. Um, so it looks good, which is nice. Okay, let's move back out to next. We should have oh, where's it gone? Videos. And again, it's just a case of uh, selecting the, the, the one you want. There's a you can there's a couple of skip buttons here, so you can skip forward and back through the uh, through the video. Oh, there's me playing the bass guitar. That's pretty much videos. Um, you can also put your podcasts on here. Um, I've only put the one, and maybe I shouldn't have put Crackberry on here, but uh, as this is a Windows phone, but I did. Oh well. Um, and also on the Zoom software, you've got the um, you've got radio um, and the marketplace there. The radio I haven't actually tested out to be totally honest with you, so uh, uh, I can't comment on that. But as you can see, the live tile is, is animated, so it's uh, it, it will sort of uh, show you the album artwork. Marketplace is next, and I've struggled with this a little bit. Um, although I managed to download some games from the uh, the Xbox uh, app, I've uh, I've not been able to do it on here, unfortunately. I um, I tried to, to download a couple of uh, Twitch applications and it's it's just not having it, so uh, I don't really know why. Maybe because it's, uh, maybe it will let me do it once the uh, um, the phone's gone on sale on the uh, on the 21st, I don't know, but if we try and download Seismic here, install it, uh, it doesn't let me, which is a real shame. Unless I'm doing something wrong, it wouldn't be the first time. So it says it's downloading it and installing, but I haven't got it to uh, properly install yet. Unless it's done it now, as if by magic, where would it be? I presume it'd be in here. <gasps> it did, it worked! Oh, that's a result. I've heard a right plonk, I've, I've tried several times. Right, well. We might as well log in and uh, and show you. So we've got Facebook uh, support on here as well. Let me just put my uh, bits and bobs in. Might be a second. Hopefully, I've put uh, my password incorrectly. Normally manage to bodge it up on these videos. There we go. I've done it wrong. <laughs> Let me try again. Done it wrong again. Right, last time. If it's...
Hooray! It worked. Here we go. So this is obviously the uh, the home screen. If you're using Twitter on the Windows Phone, you obviously don't have to use SiegeMig, but uh, um, it, it's familiar. So here we go with all our our friends and our. Let's click on one. So at the bottom here, we can we can do a, a reply nice and easily, and we can add photos and locations. What's that do? I don't know. Mm. Oh. oh, we cannot retweet. Oh, that's just a work, but I didn't want to anyway. So that's the home. We've then got replies. This will be uh, much the same. It'll be in the list. Messages. Lists. So it looks quite nice if you ask me. I shall enjoy tweeting from that later on. Right, where were we? Um, jump into the menu and I'll show you the camera um, interface very quickly. So basically on the screen here we've got a uh, plus and minus which is the zoom at the top there. We can switch between the um, between the camera and video and then we've got some uh, settings. We can uh, change the scenes and the effects and, uh, and that sort of thing. And obviously we've got the uh, the dedicated camera key, so it's a case of uh, um, pressing it halfway down to autofocus, like so. Cool, nice and easy to use. Just the way I like it. Uh, Maps is pretty good. Let's have a look at that. And this is integrating with uh, with Bing. So. Uh, now then, how do we? Uh, oops, don't want to do that. How do I pinpoint myself? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, let's say we want to find something. Oh God, I've pressed the wrong button. Silly me. Okay, so let's say we want to find coffee. So it will show us all the places we can get some coffee which are near to us. If we tap on one, tap on the name. So it gives us some information. Oh, pants, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so it gives us the address. We can also get directions from the current location. Phone number. We can even uh, add it to the to the home screen here. So, uh, if we're planning in advance, we can we can put the route on our home screen, so it's nice and easy to get to. If there's any reviews been read, you can also look at those. And there's a nearby section. So, if we can't get a cup of coffee there, it will give us a list of uh, other places we can uh, we can go and get a cup of coffee if we want to. Or alternatively, we could have tea. That's maps. I'm sure I'm missing lots of uh, things out. I've, uh, I've only had a few hours to uh, uh, to play with this. So um, offices there. I haven't had a real go of, good go of that, so I'm not going to uh, waffle on about that because I'll probably uh, uh, muck it up. But uh, you get the gist. It's nice and easy to use. Um, the phone is extremely easy to set up. Uh, obviously, I'll go into a bit more depth uh, in the full review, which will be on the. Uh, on the site within the next uh, week or so hopefully uh, in the meantime thanks for watching Bitdefender is dedicated to protecting people's digital lives so working with unboxings.com to help preview and review the latest technology is a perfect fit